Okay, so here we have Google Glass. Uh, again, as I sort of I've mentioned previously, some of what we're looking at today is about uh, has immediate or obvious applications for a particular environment and some of it is just about future trends or the way technology is going and here we're talking about wearable technology so you can see what I see on the screen so if I tap the Google Glass like that you can see OK Glass I want to play a game tennis And now I tap the glass and we start a game of tennis. My serve. So here we go. And off it goes. I'm yet to win a game of tennis. And there we are, 15 love, I'll spare you the rest of the game. But really the story here, as far as watches, glasses, is more and more technology is being integrated into everyday objects. And I think for, for us, this is one of the sort of key trends we see sort of dominating over the next couple of years. Okay, as far as it's being uh, integrated into workplaces or places of business, I think absolutely there's possible uh, applications for that. Already in America, firefighters are using this technology to check out and see the layout of a building as they approach or interact in a particular emergency situation. So there are already business real life applications for this. Well, this is one of our multi-touch screens um, and what I'm going to show you now is a way of activating content which will make sense in the context of some of the other things we look at today. So um, here we have a code on a card. If I do like that you can see um, that various content pops up and so that's user one if you see to user three over here then actually we can look at that there and that there so the point of this is that you can activate different content through these cards rather than generically accessing the same content just by touching the screen. This is uh, the same technology that we use in our interactive tables and is something uh, classically that would be uh, most suited to our sort of business um, workspaces or some sort of experial marketing um, campaigns or installations. So here we have a great example of something just an off-the-shelf solution. Um, it's a 3D uh, without the use of glasses or any sort of other peripheral and uh, for us I think the retail environment would be the ideal or the obvious sort of context for this sort of technology. As far as producing the content goes there is a very specific uh, process which involves sort of photography from nine different angles so there is a process for that to, to, to be carried out and then stitched together uh, but again it's relatively straightforward from our sort of partner um, who creates the content for this. Okay so here we have another digital signage solution from Planar. Um, I particularly love this uh, beautiful screens, sort of super thin bezels um, but also uh, the, the aesthetically I love the scrolling content and the fact that we're portrait not landscape and here you can see um, that this uh, particular job all these panes are being updated with live information and you can see as some of them sort of pop up and spring back that this was actually used on a touch screen where anything uh, that you are particularly interested in as far as a piece of content or information goes you're able to pull up and manipulate and sort of drill down into as required. So this is our multi-touch and touch wall. Now the amazing thing about this is it's got unlimited touch points um, and so you can have any number of users uh, the only limit is the space or the ergonomics of actually working together. This is a brilliant uh, sort of future workspace tool um, and there's any number of really exciting things it can do. So say uh, this is our Twitter feed, say for example I were interested in that particular tweet, I can actually put my card on here like this, or my colleague's card in this case, and drag a piece of content from here into there and then hold this down and email it to myself. Uh, other particularly cool functionality about this is, for example, if we were to play a video 
such as this. Let's get rid of that. Introducing Island. You can see the audio follows me. So here we can see that the, the audio is zonal. So as I drag the video along the wall, the audio follows me. And I can obviously throw this up to any particular size that I want to. Okay. Well, part of the story of what we do is not just about building the experience or the engagement mechanism, but it's about how do you measure it? How do you get return on investment or know that you've got return on investment? And this is where one of our partners, CoLab, come in. So these guys are all about mobile connectivity, uh, the super connected citizen. So those of us with phones, tablets, we have immediate access to the internet wherever we are. And these guys um, use technology such as Bluetooth or near field communication or QR codes. So for example, uh, in the instance of a particular experience or installation, whether that be in a retail environment or somewhere else, uh, rather than just pushing content to people, if somebody's interested in something, they could scan a QR code like this uh, and pull the information to them that they're interested in, have shown an interest, and then immediately we can have this sort of level of detailed information about any of the particular users. A lot of our clients either want to sell something or say something to their target audience. And this allows them to absolutely tailor that message. So there's a fine line between perhaps our, our, our privacy being invaded or feeling like that, or people presenting us information or products and services that are completely relevant for us. And this allows us to target to a level of detail that might increase uh, brand loyalty rather than alienate people by feeling they're being bombarded by undiscerning content.